tonight the Vice President of Membership, Nick Smith, who's working on the Speeches by Management Manual. Doesn't that sound exciting? Sarcasm aside, this project, Communicating Challenge, is titled Finding New Pathway. Tonight, look at what's brewing in the world of Toastmasters, specifically the new education program by Nick Smith. Thank you, Madam Toastmaster. It's communicating change and what's brewing. I think you might have said ruining. I don't think it's ruining in Toastmasters, but it's brewing in Toastmasters. This is a speech for more experienced members. Though if you do decide to join the club, Jeanette, you'll be dealing with this too. There is a new educational program on the way here at Toastmasters. For a number of years, we've had the communication track and the leadership track. In 2010, the Toastmasters Board of Directors decided that this was, well, they found that this was not having the success that they hoped it would have. They found that only 10% of Toastmasters members earned their competent communicator. Only 2% earned their competent leader award. These numbers surprised me too. Only 1% earned more advanced awards through our educational program. And they wanted to know why. And what they found is that the tracks we have right now, the communication and leadership, were too static. So they kicked off this initiative called the Revitalized Education Program, which is now called Toastmasters Pathways. Who here has heard of Toastmasters Pathways? Who here understands it? <laughs> Madam Toastmaster, fellow Toastmasters, and warmly welcome guests, this is a speech to try to explain to you what Pathways is, what it means for us, and the benefits of it. The first thing is to understand is that instead of having just a communication and a leadership track, we now have 10 dynamic paths that can be taken. And these paths are, are such wonderful topics as motivational strategies and presentation mastery. And it gives more flexibility to people who want to pursue specific types of improvement which isn't necessarily public speaking or leadership. There's topics, there's courses such as writing a blog or conducting a podcast. Jim, there's conducting online video meetings. So there's all kinds of neat topics that are part of Pathways that expand upon our current educational offering. <clears throat> a lot of people are concerned about the change this is going to bring to Toastmasters and what it's going to mean because right now, when you join Toastmasters, you're sent two manuals in the mail. You receive a competent communicator and a competent leader manual. And you go through those, and there's more advanced manuals beyond that. The new program is, well, we all know it's internet-based, right? You log into Toastmasters.org, and you're taken to your base camp, and you click a button, and there's your project in front of you. And for instance, you might be doing the public, you might be doing the you might be doing the ice picker presentation. And instead of having a manual you open up that has a evaluation form and reading through it, there's basically a slideshow. And you read, you read through the slideshow and there's some dynamic content, which may include a video or audio content, a little bit more dynamic than you get out of a printed manual. I like that they have these printable forms that have a project checklist. And I'll pass these around after the speech. They have a outline worksheet that you can fill out. And you may be wondering what's going on with evaluations. My evaluator is Joanna. And when I walked in the door, I handed her my manual. And she has it right now. And she's you know, has some great notes about all the wonderful things I'm doing during my presentation here. Under Pathways, I could have emailed her the evaluation form. Or I could have printed it out and brought it into the room. She could have printed out and brought it, or she could have brought her laptop, and she could be filling it out on the laptop. And I mean, it's very similar to what we have now. It has some, some one through five type, type of questionnaire, and also specific guidelines relevant to this particular project. So I just hand this to her, and she can evaluate me on the project that I'm doing. When she's complete, she can, again, write it out, fill it on the computer. She comes up here and gives me a verbal evaluation, as we've always done here at Toastmasters. And then she can hand the paperwork back to me, or she can email it to me, and I can upload it into my record on Basecamp and have that 
or all kinds of future reference. Well, that's a, bit, a little bit how the, the back and forth works as far as the speaking program under pathways. A pathway has five levels. You have a level one, two, three, four, five, with an increasing amount of mastery. A level may be two or three projects. Usually there's a speech involved. Sometimes there's not a speech involved, but there's two or three projects per level. One of the things they found with the old educational program is that you might have a Toastmaster who gives eight speeches and still hasn't received any type of official recognition of the fact that they just gave eight speeches. Under this program, you give three speeches or complete three projects, and you're level one. You get a badge, you get an award. Do two or three more projects, you're level two, you get a badge and an award. And so on and so forth. And after you get your, finish your fifth level under Pathways, you become proficient. So you might be Presentation Mastery Proficient. Or, and we'll, we'll put that on your name tags, perhaps. And that leads to, to the question, what happens to my competent communicator? What happens to my advanced communicator silver? What happens to my advanced Toastmaster gold? You own that forever. You're an, John, you're an advanced Toastmaster bronze forever. However, those designations don't do anything for you under Pathways. The day our club, our region, switches over to Pathways, you have two years to do something with that award. Let's say you wanted to turn that ATM gold into an advanced communicator silver. You have two years. And then at that point, you can no longer advance that award. And instead, you're working under the Pathways program. And one other thing I wanted to address is that a new member joins the day after we do our switch over to the Pathways, which will probably be like June, May or June or something like that. They must start the new program. They can't continue on the old program. They must become a Pathways and begin following that program after that happens. The last point I wanted to touch upon is that as a Toastmaster member, you have access to a pathway. And then after you finish that pathway or decide to start another pathway, it's $20. If you want to have paperwork, like they'll actually mail you manuals for a couple of those pathways to use instead of being on your computer and doing the pathway, it's an additional $25 on top of that $20. And you still have access to the computer if you decide to do that. I think this is going to be a positive change for Toastmasters. It's an opportunity to access some new learning material that we haven't had in the past. And I hope we all decide to embrace this as it comes on board for us as a club and a region. Where will Pathways lead you? Madam Toastmaster.